In this module, I'll be talking about mindfulness and how it can be helpful in some of the situations we have been exploring. So what is mindfulness? There are many definitions of mindfulness. However, the one that I resonate with is that it is the act of being connected to the present moment without judgment and on purpose. So the main aim of mindfulness is to bring awareness to this moment. And as a result, relaxation is not the same as mindfulness. Although you may find when you do mindfulness meditation practices, you might feel calmer and more relaxed. Similarly, Mindfulness meditation is also not about getting rid of all your thoughts or clearing the mind, nor does it mean changing your experience such as your thoughts or feelings. And so it isn't about changing negative experiences to positive ones. Mindfulness is about bringing your awareness to what you are thinking and feeling and experiencing and improving or growing your awareness muscle so that with that you enhance your level of choice with regards to reactions to your thoughts and feelings and to the actions and words of others. And this is why it can be such a useful exercise to practice with regards to considering how you'd like to react or how you'd like to handle and survive these holiday events. It may also allow you with practice to even enjoy the meal or food you're eating or enjoy the situation you're in or perhaps certain aspects of it. So in particular, this is because when we start to focus on being present in our here and now and not be as caught in our thinking mind or the feelings and sensations in our bodies, we may discover that there is something pleasant available for us to actually experience. And I do want to be clear though, being mindful won't make unpleasant situations pleasant. It is more about giving yourself an opportunity to experience something as pleasant if it is actually there. I also want to raise that it may be difficult for all of us, well at least most of us, apart from the Dalai Lama, to be present and mindful 100% of the time. So that is not the aim. Rather, it may be worth considering that even small moments here and there of being mindful and present and connected to this moment may be something we value and can be something that when we look back, we're proud of ourselves for. So it may mean considering how to be more present and mindful using your five senses when you're at an event. In fact, the following grounding strategy is often taught now as a way to help ride the waves of difficult feelings we may be experiencing. Try it with me now. So take a moment and using your sense of sight, name five things you can see. Then turning to your sense of hearing, Name four things you can hear. Now, using your sense of touch, what are three things you can feel? Now, focusing on your sense of smell, what are two things you can smell? And finally, what is one thing you can taste? This exercise is so simple, so easily available to all of us at all times. And in the moment, even if you don't run through the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in exactly that way, you may still find it helpful to focus on one of your senses or a few of them in whatever way helps to ground you and reconnect you to this present moment. Another really simple exercise that I like for grounding and bringing your mind and body back to this moment and something we typically can do anywhere is focusing our attention on our feet. Our feet typically don't get that much of our focus during our days so a simple act of wiggling your toes can just reconnect us with our bodies and bring us back to the ground, perhaps literally if you also are able to feel the floor underneath you. I also want to give you an opportunity to practice a mindfulness eating exercise if you've never done one before. There are many I'm sure you'll be able to find on YouTube or perhaps in a mindfulness app. So if my voice or the way I do this practice doesn't quite sit well with you, please try another one to see if it may be a better fit. Welcome to a mindful eating meditation, the raisin exercise. In this exercise, you will be eating mindfully a raisin. So take a moment 
to find a raisin or two and bring them to a seated position in front of you. Begin by connecting to your breath and body. Feel your feet on the ground and notice your experience in this moment. With your awareness in this moment, notice any thoughts, sensations or emotions that you're experiencing. Now bring your attention to the raisin and place it in your hand. And I'd like you to imagine that you're seeing it for the very first time. Observe it with curiosity as you pay attention and say notice the colour, the shape, the texture and the size of the raisin. Is there anything else that you might notice, sense or feel as you look at the raisin? Imagine what it took for this raisin to get to your hands. The sunshine, the water, the time, the processing and the shipping. And you may choose to be aware of gratitude for everyone involved in the cultivation and preparation of this raisin. And now place the raisin between your fingers and feel the texture, the temperature and the ridges. Notice the smoothness or stickiness. You might give it a little squeeze. Again, notice if you have any thoughts, sensations or emotions at this time. And continue to breathe and be fully present in this moment. Take the raisin and bring it towards your nose and smell it with your full awareness. Notice if you have any memories or sensations or reactions in your body. And even as you are smelling it, you might notice that you start to actually have a digestive response in your body just by noticing and smelling the raisin. Full awareness of your hand now moving towards your mouth, place the raisin into your mouth without chewing or swallowing it. Just allow it first to be in your mouth and then roll it around to the different parts of your mouth and different parts of your tongue. the flavour and the texture and then notice the physical sensations or responses in your body especially in your mouth and your gut as you do this Just continue to breathe as you explore the sensation of having the raisin in your mouth. Next, take just one bite and then notice the flavour. Notice the change of the texture. Then 
very slowly begin to chew the raisin and notice the parts of your mouth that are involved in the chewing. Notice the sound and movement of chewing. As you also continue to notice all the sensations that are happening for you and the flavour in your mouth. swallow the raisin and notice the path that it follows from your mouth and throat into your stomach. Notice the sensation and tastes that linger in your mouth and connect again to your body and your breath and then just notice the experience in this moment. And then if you like, I invite you to pick up another raisin and just notice your experience of how you choose to eat it this time. It doesn't have to be the way we've just done this mindful eating of the raisin exercise. So as you eat it, just notice the experience of it this time. What do you sense? Is anything different? Is it similar? And then as this mindful eating exercise comes to an end, slowly reconnecting with this time, this space, giving yourself some gratitude for experiencing a mindfulness of eating exercise which may help you to increase your awareness of all the things that happen when we eat. I've included some worksheets related to experiences and reflections for each of the exercises that I've just taken you through. If you can please give these a go, as it may be interesting for you to consider how you found them and what did or didn't work for you. And hopefully at least one of them may be useful as an option for being more present and increasing that chance that some of what you experience may be pleasant or enjoyable at an event that you're going to. In the next module, I'm gonna build on this by also talking to you about your life values.